day 7 piping flexibility and sports this is the seventh topic in awareness uh, course on asme 31.3 previously we have covered these three six topics which we discussed on day 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 in today's topic uh, we are going to cover these three subtopics piping flexibility analysis different types of supports and application how to accommodate thermal expansion and contraction as usual we'll start with the safety talk then we'll have explanation on these three subtopics then in the end we'll have a quiz where we'll discuss 20 mcq questions along with correct answers we'll discuss the explanations also so in the end we'll have a look what topics we are going to cover in day 8 so let's welcome peter who will be explaining us these three subtopics right so let's begin with safety talk hello everyone Today's safety talk is about confined space entry procedures to ensure your safety when working in such spaces. No confined spaces, identify and label all confined spaces in your workplace. These are areas with limited entry and exit points and can be hazardous. Risk assessment, before entering a confined space, conduct a thorough risk assessment. Identify potential hazards and plan safety measures accordingly. Personal protective equipment, always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, for confined space entry. This may include respiratory protection, harnesses, and gas detectors. Standby person, never enter a confined space alone. Always have a trained standby person outside the space, ready to provide assistance or call for help in case of an emergency. Test the atmosphere. Test the air quality and atmosphere inside the confined space before entering. Ensure that it is safe for breathing and free from toxic or flammable gases. Follow procedures. Follow the entry and exit procedures strictly. Don't rush or take shortcuts. Your safety depends on following these protocols. Remember, confined spaces can be dangerous, but by following these procedures, we can minimize the risks and ensure everyone's safety. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're delving into an important aspect, piping flexibility analysis. Flexibility analysis is crucial in piping design to accommodate thermal expansion, vibration, and other dynamic forces. Let's explore the key points. Importance of flexibility, piping systems need to accommodate movements caused by thermal expansion, vibration, and other factors to prevent stress and deformation. Stress analysis, flexibility analysis involves evaluating stresses, piping components to ensure they are within acceptable limits. Code compliance, piping systems must meet the requirements of ASME B31.3 to ensure safety, integrity, and reliability. Expansion loops, long pipe runs incorporate expansion loops that absorb thermal expansion and prevent excessive stress. Expansion joints, these components absorb movement in various directions caused by thermal expansion, seismic activity, or other factors. Spring supports, vertical movement is controlled by spring supports, which also provide support to the piping system. Hanger supports, Piping is suspended from hanger supports, limiting its movement and ensuring proper alignment. Guided supports, these supports control movement in specific directions, maintaining the desired piping configuration. Restraints, restraints are used to prevent excessive move vibration in critical areas. Analysis tools, specialized software is used for flexibility analysis helping engineers accurately predict and manage movement in the piping system. Understanding piping flexibility is essential to design systems that can withstand various forces and moves while ensuring safety and reliability. That concludes today's video. In our next topic, we'll explore different types of supports and their applications. So, stay tuned and keep learning.
Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. Today, we're diving into an interesting topic, different types of supports and their applications. Supports play a critical role in maintaining the stability and integrity of piping systems. Let's explore the key points. Support types, there are various types of supports used in piping systems, including spring, hanger, guided, rigid, snubbers, and struts. Spring supports, these supports control vertical movement and absorb load, allowing the pipe to move up and down while maintaining support. Hanger supports, hanger supports suspend the piping and limit axial movement. They are used in cases where vertical movement needs to be restricted. Guided supports, guided supports control movement in specific directions, ensuring the desired piping configuration maintained. Rigid supports, rigid supports restrict all movement and are typically used at anchor points where no movement is desired. Snubbers, snubbers absorb dynamic forces, such as seismic activity, preventing abrupt and potentially damaging movement. Struts, struts resist lateral movement and provide stability to the piping system, especially in cases where side-to-side -side motion needs to be controlled. Applications, the choice of support type depends on factors like piping layout, load distribution, and movement requirements in the system. Different supports are strategically placed throughout the piping system to ensure proper functioning, prevent excessive stress, and maintain overall stability. That concludes today's video. In our next topic, we'll discuss how to accommodate thermal expansion and contraction. So, stay tuned and keep learning. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. In today's session, we'll delve into a crucial topic, how to accommodate thermal expansion and contraction. Thermal expansion and contraction are natural phenomena that occur as piping systems experience tense temperature changes. Let's explore how to manage these effects. Thermal expansion, when piping is exposed to heat, it expands, when cooled, it contracts. This movement must be accommodated to prevent stress and damage. Expansion loops, incorporating expansion loops in the piping layout allows for controlled expansion and contraction. These loops absorb the movement without transmitting stress to the system. Expansion joints, expansion joints provide flexibility and allow movement in various directions, ensuring that the system can expand and contract without damage. Flexible piping, using a combination of expansion loops, expansion joints, and guided supports creates a flexible system that can handle thermal movement. Guided supports, guided supports restrict movement in specific directions, helping to manage expansion and contraction in predetermined er determined areas. Piping layout, plan the layout to include expansion loops or joints in areas where temperature changes are expected preventing stress and deformation. Anticipate temperature changes. Consider the range of temperatures the system will experience and design for the potential effects of expansion. Stress analysis. Perform stress analysis to ensure that piping components can handle the stresses caused by thermal expansion and contraction. Managing thermal expansion and contraction is vital to maintaining the integrity and reliability of piping systems, preventing leaks, and ensuring safe operation. That concludes today's session. In our next topic, we'll discuss the categorization of fluid services. So, stay tuned and keep learning.
Thank you Peter for uh, detailed explanation on these three subtopics. The main topic was flex piping flexibility and supports. So we had safety talk, the explanation quiz, and now let's discuss the topic for the next day. Yeah. On day eight, we'll talk about fluid service requirements. The format will remain same. We'll talk about uh, safety, then these three subtopics, then 20 MCQs on same subtopics, and we'll talk about uh, the next day's topic. So thanks Peter, thanks for uh, watching and see you in the next part.